Hey guys, so Final Fantasy 7, the remake demo has just landed and everyone is playing it and having a good time. I'm not going to get the demo because, well, I don't really have the time to play it. I've got a pretty big YouTube channel, work, life. I just don't have the time to dive into a game right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just react to somebody else doing a demo walkthrough. So this goes for about 42 minutes, so I'm going to dive in and check it out and just kind of give my thoughts and feelings and just get an idea about what this is going to be like. I mean, the trials have been amazing. I played the original game back in the 90s, I want to say, back in the day, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was one of the only games I've ever played through twice. It was that good. That and Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. I did that one twice as well because they were seminal games. They were incredible. So let's just take a look at this demo walkthrough and let's see what it's like. I wish I could play it, but yeah, time... You know, it just doesn't, it's not, it's not my friend right now. Okay, all right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Access PlayStation, thank you very much. So there might be some voice servers here as well. Yeah, this opening looks incredible, bro. So detailed and gorgeous. Hello, welcome to PlayStation yeah. Access. My name Hello. is Rob, and last Hi, Rob. week I was lucky enough to go hands-on with Final Fantasy VII Remake at a preview event in London hosted by Square Enix. I got to play the entire bombing mission from intro sequence to reactor escape, Cloud's first encounter with Aerith and fight through the Midgar streets in the immediate aftermath, the second reactor mission with Tifa and Barrett culminating in an epic boss fight against the Airbuster, and yeah. the sewer battle with Abzu, meaning I got to take control of both Tifa and Aerith in battle for the first time. I'll have yeah, another video sick, diving deeper into everything I learned later in the week, but today I just wanted to show you the bombing mission in its glorious entirety for the very first time. I've edited Amen. out a few tutorial messages and a couple of bits where I backtrack and aimlessly stare at environmental details Thank you. for a frankly boring amount of time. But aside huh. from that, this is my entire run through the opening of the game. Enjoy. Sick. Halt! I picked Who this one because it goes for 41 minutes. There was another version I was contemplating which goes for an hour and a half. And yeah, that was pretty much everything with, like you said, all the, the backtracking and all the tutorials. Nice and easy. So I elected so. for a smaller, more condensed version. No holding back. Just for the sake of my sanity and time, once again. Here it comes. So I'm hoping I don't get too spoiled by this though, that's my only concern going into this. That's right. This oh, is me I trying to see if this Shinra grunt had a potion on him. I learned two things. One, he doesn't, and two, pressing X brings up this command menu outside of battle. Right. I was going to say, it's still very uh, reminiscent of that first game. I'm having a lot of flashbacks right Who now. Definitely Can looks gorgeous. <clears throat> wow. Me? Oh, we will. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. He can use me. Not, Not bad. <laughs> Drop the weapon. You got this. Yeah. Big wedge. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Remembering that nope. that first time I played this, I couldn't beat these guys. It's all new, just getting used to the controls. You're not really powerful yet. I found it very difficult to adjust. So I've just got into tactical mode. You need to be mindful of your environment during battle. Watch this fire spell. It explodes right into the pillar. That's 4 MP I will not be getting back. But also, 
his gunfire hits it too. So if you find yourself uh -huh. on the defensive, taking cover is not a bad shout. This is one of many reasons battles in Final Fantasy VII Remake are, in my opinion, even more tactical than they were in the original. We'll be going more in depth on this soon. But rest assured, if you were worried about being able to blindly hack and slash your way through the game, don't be, because you can't. Nice. Well, you want a bit of a challenge, don't you? Using the environment is very cool. Here's me discovering you can't smash benches. Fair enough, they look <laughs> lovely. There's an artist at Square Enix somewhere who worked tirelessly on those. Stuff whoever designed these crates with the Shinra logo, though. You can break as many of those as you want. And you get rewarded with items, too. Loot crates. Nice one. <clears throat> Love the score. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he Jesse. one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh... What was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional. Unlike the rest of us. God, it looks like Charlie happen. Sheen. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Right on. Uh, uh, the cinematics are nice. It's all in-game as well. Real joy to look at too. Huh. Here we go. You'll keep us safe. Right, Clark? I guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even. God, I can't wait people. to play this. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same. Give it a rest. So just overhearing the conversations. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? I love that we got voices now. And for the most part, they sound pretty decent. Mr. Barrett. Which? Uh. <sighs> you better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. Like it. His voice is just how I imagined it. Because that original game was all text based and there was no... There was no voices in it. It's a nice change. God, it's, it looks beautiful. You can lock onto targets using R3, then toggle targets with the right stick or the directional buttons. This comes in really handy when fighting large groups of enemies, which happens often. You'll find yourself up against far greater numbers than in the original oh Final Fantasy VII. God. So learning how to dodge and switch targets between multiple enemies is something you'll want to do quickly. You can pin down nearby enemies with melee attacks, build up your ATB gauge, and yep. then hurl magic at ranged enemies. You'll also notice I'm switching between Punisher and Looks Operator like mode with Triangle. Punisher mode means Cloud's attacks are slower but more powerful. Really right. useful when you're going on the offensive and want to build attacking momentum. Cool. Punisher mode. So impressed with the animation, but Final Fantasy games have always been premium when it comes to their graphics. They've always looked sensational, always set the standard. Very high bar. <laughs> this way. Barrett, grumpy fella. Love his sword. Cloud's awesome. I want a figurine. I've never I've never had a cloud statue. What the hell? There's sure to be um <laughs> Not so a figurine fast. version of the game me. released. Like right, two hundred dollars or so. It's like a it's got like bat ears. Bruh. 
brave off. So I like some abilities. Oh. So time doesn't freeze, it just slows down while you pick your method of attack. So it's always in real time. So you've got to use some some form of strategy. Oh, this is very satisfying. Nice. Yep. I used to heal myself <laughs> every five minutes. How's the um? Is it auto save? I think from memory that you had to get to a certain spot in the original game and save your progress. So if you died, you'd start from there again. I haven't really covered that yet. So is there a, yes, is there a destination? I, I somehow missed that treasure chest staring me right in the face. I'm furious oh, I'm, about it too. Please I it too. don't mention it in the comments. Not even as a joke response to this. Seriously, please, <laughs> stop typing. YouTube comments, man. Ah, oh, love it. Visuals, man. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Make a reactor. You've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Marco storage? Marco. <laughs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <laughs> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! That music kicks in. Cloud's on his own. It's over! That's my line. Ah, yeah, nice. the classic battle music starts up, and here is yep. a perfect example of how switching to Punisher mode is really beneficial when it comes to crowd control. See, I didn't even get a chance to use Brave A's down already. <laughs> that was awesome. We're back. Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <clears throat> Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Sure. <sighs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but... Are you guys close? Oh. Every uh, time romance. I see more of Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's like being battered by a nostalgia hurricane. Nibelheim here looks so perfectly dusty and melancholic. Yeah, just the wow. type of place you'd want to leave in order to join Soldier and become just like Sephiroth. Cloud! Are you ignoring me? It's stunning. I love the character models. He's having his little memory flashbacks. Go back a long time. Throughout this video, you've probably gotten a sense of how Square Enix isn't just remaking Final Fantasy VII. They are reimagining and expanding it. Often, that reimagining manifests as more detail and greater depth in the areas you explore, and sometimes as this, entirely new scenes that dig deeper under the skin of characters we love to hate in the original game, but awesome. also offer a different perspective on a story we thought we knew. Look at President.
President Shinra and Heidegger here. They're watching everything unfold. If anything, it makes me hate them even more. That made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> so still a few months until this comes out, right? This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako <sighs> is the lifeblood of our world. The mm -hmm. planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again! <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. <clears throat> He's well cast. I'm even liking Cloud's voice. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. Nice. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? Hey, he's not feeling the love. <laughs> I love his arm gone. It's so cool. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dialogue. It's actually decent. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for this, man. This is gonna be fun. Join the party, Barrett the Walsh. With the gun, go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. So Cloud can't reach enemies up on balconies, that's Barrett's department, but he can combo them in mid-air. I may have let out a little scream when this happens during my hands-on, <laughs> because my goodness, does it look cool. But also notice how your commands can be interrupted. I tried using a spell here, but got hit, which cancelled it. This combat system is far more than just attacking, filling up your ATB gauge, and then flinging off magic. Your positioning on the battlefield is important. Dodging and guarding are important. Even against enemies, Final Fantasy veterans may consider small fry. Yeah, if you're overwhelmed, then you can't get any magic off. You could be in a bit of yes, Barrett trouble. Did just do that. And yes, I did stand up and applaud. It may seem I like miss a small it. touch, but to me it signifies so much more. You get a definite sense that a whole load of love for the original has gone into this game. Back at E3 last year, Yoshinori Kitasi said how the development team is made from a mix of veterans who worked on the original and a fresh generation wow. of talent who were all fans back in 1997. 97. Really I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. So they brought people who were actually working on that original game back to this one. That's that's incredible. Exactly. Here's another example of how Final Fantasy VII Remake expands on the original. A laser dodging sequence used to teach you all about the dash controls. You can hold either R1 or R2 to sprint, or press L3 once and you will sprint until you stop moving. I still think I'll be walking mostly when I play the game because Cloud just looks more like a nonchalant bass <laughs> that way. Oh, oh and zap. that's what happens if you hit the lasers. I did it on purpose just to show you. Yeah, you nice did. Job, Cloud. Well, we got and we're oh, it just feels like classic RPG, man. I love this shit. This is my favorite game genre. 
big open world, lots of characters, adventure, leveling up, custom building your equipment, dialogue, exploration, just ugh. Final Fantasy 7, man, that's why I fell in love with it. Okay, the action's heating up now. Let's talk about pressure, which wasn't in the previous build of the game I played last year. Hit enemies with attacks they are weak against, and you will knock them off balance, putting them under pressure. You can see it there, just underneath under pressure. the orange stagger right. meter. Once an pressured. enemy is pressured, you can fill their stagger meter more quickly. This encourages you to stay on the offensive, as staggering an enemy is ultimately what you really want. Stagger them, and they will be completely completely knocked over, unable to attack for a small window, during which all your attacks do bonus damage. Make the most of this. God, it looks gorgeous as well. Holy shit, man. See? These little dialogue pieces are very important to the character growth. Just revealing little things like Cloud doesn't know how old he is. Which is very telling. Love his sword. How big is that shit? That's just not practical. our target the reactor core gotta set the bomb at the bottom here we are the reactor core the area we've seen and played before i love this place the music the dead open space the gonna get hard rippling underneath it's so evocative also cloud and barrett's incidental dialogue as they make their way down never fails to entertain scared huh more the like camera movements are so cinematic as well. It's just like sweeping and epic and, and a lot of grandeur. I love it. I love the little sparkles coming out of the out of the crates. Those little flourishes. Potions, yeah, get ready, you're going into battle, it's gonna be tough. We've seen this art. They've showcased this scene a fair bit. Mako Shard. If there's one single thing I had to pick about Final Fantasy VII Remake that impresses me most, it would be the music. The new score mm. is breathtaking. Classic pieces of music we all know and love now with a modern orchestral grace. In particular, I love this, how the reactor music shifts up a gear while in battle. It's a brilliant touch and gives the combat here a unique flavor. Brace yourself. Keep it together. About damn time. I love how it can just lock on and you shoot something out of out of Cloud's range. And the camera movements once again just sweeps around, it's so good. Obtained a bottle of ether. Mako Reactor 1 core. So we're going to get into that fight that, like I mentioned, has been showcased already with the big tank from memory. Yeah, let's do this. 
pretty big open battlefield. It's not going to be easy. Saving game. So, okay. So it detects when you're at a checkpoint, saves the game. So I don't know how, how few and far between these checkpoints right. are. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on. Do the honors. Prove this is all to gonna me go to shit. Antifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Huh. I love the, um, like through that original game, just the way the characters all kind of grew together and their friendships that they forged as the, as the group grew bigger. Like Cloud and Barrett, a lot of animosity now, but they do become quite close. Well, they did in the original game, they could totally mix it up in this one. Keeps having these flashbacks. I'm fine. No, you're not, man. You're messed up. Yes, that's right. You get to choose how long you set the timer for. We're going for 20 minutes because we know what we're doing. Pretty cocky. <laughs> 20 or 30 minutes. So the game, the, the battle could last half an hour. Imagine if you you die and then you have to start again at like the 25th minute. That happens. That shit happens. Hey, how the hell but if the game's fun, then replaying <laughs> is no fine. Option. Providing it doesn't get too frustrating. Oh, it's awesome, man. Look at this. Big crab tank. Listen to that music. Scorpion Sentinel. Oh, so he gets up on the wall. This looks so hard. I hope the game, I hope the game kind of saves itself like through every uh, part of the battle. Like once you've done like level one of this battle, it saves, so you don't have to replay the whole thing all the time. Focus on that core. So you've got weak spots that tells you where to hit. Nice. Yeah, you know when we said we know what yeah. we're doing. No. I mean, it's true, we do, and right now what we're doing is using a Phoenix down on Cloud because he got KO'd. But in all seriousness, Phoenix down. this boss fight is tough. A lot tougher than I yeah. remember in my previous hands-on with the game. You have to be on your toes. Watch for its area of effect attacks and guard. Notice how slowly your ATB gauge fills when you're not attacking. Well, it does increase slightly quicker after a successful guard. So if you find yourself on the ropes, and you will, particularly against Airbuster and Abzu, again, more on those in our later video, play defensive. Remember, during battle, you cannot heal yourself unless you have at least one full ATB gauge. You could attack wow. to fill it up, but you know, that's proper risky. Yeah, Proper risque. It wouldn't be much of a weapon if it went down easy. Don't compliment the giant scorpion! <laughs> we're playing on normal difficulty level, by the way, and there were two others, easy and classic. Easy is self-explanatory, whereas classic automates the action and lets you fully focus on selecting commands from the menu, the aim being to replicate the feeling of playing the original for people who don't want to engage in all the real-time action stuff. Either way, you need to have your wits about you during combat. Classic all money, the way. Final Fantasy VII Remake's combat is tougher, deeper, and requires even more strategy than the original game. Everything you've got. I'm Let's on you. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be really challenging. But when you have these hard battles and you win, that makes it all the more rewarding. 
But Zelda Breath of the Wild is a classic example of that. One of the big bosses in that one, I, I could not beat it. It took me two whole days and when I finally won, I was euphoric. I was so happy. I, like, I felt like I earned it. And I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be like the same kind of emotion. Man. Tough motherfucker, hard to beat. Here it comes. Another barrier? Huh? Now, hit it hard and fast. Oh, you're in for it now! Just shoot! Give it all I've you got! got. See? Escapes again. So I'm hoping this is where it like saves before the next wave of the assault begins. Ah, that's so pretty. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So what do we do? Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Hide behind the debris. Cross slash. Ah, oh, super move. Ah, oh, so good. Gotta memorize the attack. Gotta memorize the attack. Don't overdo it. Take out the cannon. He's gonna take like taking off like ones and twos. Oh, Barrett's down. Imagine getting killed here, right? And having to start again. That would suck. So hard. God, even just watching it is, is super fun, man. So if you don't take control of Barrett and make him hide, does he just stand out in the open? Oh, nice. Oh, hey, what's it doing? Ah, I need a critical oh, hit. Damn it. We gotta take it out quick or we're screwed. Our repair <laughs> unit. Oh, no. Thunder spell. You crippled a left leg. Oh man, this is so good. Level up! That's what you want to see. Level 8. Defeated. Now he's gonna blow the hell up. Oh shit. Shit, the ball. 20 minutes until Now you got to get the hell out of dodge. <laughs> you hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Now you're like this what is where the timer clicks in, right? Yeah, 20 minutes. Go. Okay, I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes for the escape, which is epic as all hell. Just in the case. The music, the pacing, look at the state of this reactor core. Our yeah. fiery tussle with the scorpion sentinel written all over the walls. I love this so much. Just give me a break. Oh, and you got ah oh, things are attacking you along the way. Thirty minutes, I'm doing thirty minutes. 
nothing to it. Man, this is just stunning. Listen to that, that music kicking in. Oh shit. More obstacles. Oh. Jesse's stuck on the other side. You're hanging off our cable. Meanwhile, the timers is ticking down. You okay? Do I look okay? She not good. She got a broken leg. No, she's fine. My hero. Just a potion. Hey, we'll link up over there. Look after Jesse. Come this way. This route should lead us straight to Baron. Probably. Escape of the reactor. Come on. Rendezvous point. Yes, Jesse, but the treasure chest is very important. I do love this incidental dialogue. It really does bring the characters to life. Yeah, I like it too. We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. You're Shut not... up and climb. Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. I know a lot of people like that. 18 minutes. Barrett's back here. Oh, now we've got some monsters. Find us a way out of here. But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. My soldiers. Soldier boy with me. X, soldier boy. They're here. Take them down. We don't have time for this shit. The clock for this. Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. Yes. Five seconds yes, is I all did we just need. Take down two Shinra troops with one braver attack. Nice. Amazing, right? That's awesome. So you got a destination meter as well, so it's telling like 57 meters, 56, 55, so that tells you how close you are. Until a big robot jumps out in front of you. God, he's tough. They're definitely applying the the pressure, man. <laughs> this is so awesome. Focus to thrust. Staggered. Sweeper. Take him down. I love it the, the timer slows down as well when the tactical camera slows down. That was nothing. Oh, that music is so familiar to me, man. It's so nostalgic. I want to play the original again. Shit, I want to play this. This ain't no thing. 16 minutes on the clock. Shock troopers. Shock Another point trooper. at which I let out a little squeak. They're tougher <laughs> than regular Shinra grunts, and so taking them on when the clock is ticking feels Not cool. incredibly exciting. <laughs> Stressful. Steel skin attack. Never in doubt. Nice. Barrett is now level eight. It's on you. Oh shit. That it? Shock troopers are tough. 
15 minutes on the clock. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, sorry, getting so you get experience and you get gill. So you're earning currency every time you kill an enemy. Which comes becomes handy when you're shopping for upgrades later on. New armor, new weapons. Is materia gonna be part of this as well? And that sadly is where we will have to end this. No! What do you think? The bombing mission in its entirety. I was breathless by the end of this. It was amazing. A perfect <laughs> encapsulation of what Final Fantasy VII Remake Stops is trying to the do. Taking that thing we all treasure and turning it into something huge, modern, and beautiful. Mm. I was honestly blown away. As I've mentioned, we'll have Summons. more on Final Fantasy VII Remake coming up soon, including our thoughts on controlling Tifa, Aerith, using summer magic for the first time, and the boss battles against Airbuster and Abzu. So stay tuned for that. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again soon with more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Thanks, guys. I'll pause that there because I'm done. I'm already subscribed. But I'm glad it kind of um, ended just before the bomb exploded because I didn't really want to see any more. I feel like I've learned a lot about the game just watching it, feeling that nostalgia and the, the beats. How it's like very familiar to me, but definitely very glossy and very pretty and a lot of action. I could feel the tension just watching that, like... The timer, just got to get out of the building before it blows up. All the fighting along the way. The scorpion fight, man, that was super tough. But man, it's just uh, looking incredible what they've done. I know this is going to be part one of the game. And then when we get out of the city is when part two kicks off. And I know they're kind of working on that now. I mean, they've got the models already ready to go. So they don't have to build the thing from scratch. So we should be getting part two to this in a year or two, hopefully. But it looks really deep, very engaging. There's a lot to it. Like I said, just getting all the characters on board as the, the party grows. Using magic and summon spells for the first time. It just looks epic as hell. So, yeah, I, I might get the demo in the coming days. I don't know, depending how I go for time, like I said. But just watching that. Yeah, I don't feel like it's sp it spoiled too much. Like, if the game comes out in months from now, I'm sure to forget most of the, the dialogue and, and, the, and the beats there. But... Yeah, I just, I just, yeah, you know, just getting a sample before the game is actually truly released. It, it can be, I don't know. I don't. I just want to play the game in its entirety and just leap into it and just start and go and just be swept away with the magic that is Final Fantasy VII. I mean, Jesus, just watching that made me want to play the first game again. That was incredible. I don't really watch YouTubers and gaming channels because I'd rather play the game than watch it. But having said that, just watching that then was super fun that was that was good man that excited me it got me really revved up to play the game so when is it coming out let me know in the comments down below guys and what do you think you excited are you playing the demo damn did it end up did we get the explosion at the end or is that we're going to cut off for the demo as well like before the 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 climax i mean you got to leave something for the original game right anyway i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching